I'm working on some ideas for a maker's fair, and I thought one of them I'd use a JK flip-flop. So I got on the web and did a lot of searching, and I found a tremendous amount of information about clocking and truth tables, and very, very little on how you hook this thing up to actually make it work. And the one that I found, it didn't work. So I thought I'd go through and explain what I found and show you a circuit that actually functions. I want this JK flip-flop to toggle Q and not Q, and I also want to drive it with this 555 timer circuit. Well, what I found out was pin 4, which is the reset, and pin 7, which is the set, must be grounded, and pins 5 and 6 which is K and J, must go to the power supply, and I'm going to be using 12 volts. Here's the circuit that I came up with. The 555 timer at the output through the diode is connected to pin 3 of the clock of the JK flip-flop. Now there's two flip-flops in this chip. I'm only using one of them, and our output is pin 1 and pin 2. Pin 1 is Q and pin 2 is not Q. And of course we have to have power to this so pin 8 goes to ground and pin 16 goes to power. And here's a demo of this circuit. I have three capacitors in parallel. One of them is behind the blinking green LED. That's a 4.7 then above that, the yellow one is a dot one microfarad, and above that is a 47 microfarad capacitor. I want to point out that green blinking light. Notice that it's not on and off equal. It's on more than it's off. Then take a look at the Q and not Q. They are exactly equal on and off. Now I'm going to lift the 47 microfarad capacitor and you can see that it blinks much quicker. I'm going to plug it back in and this is where we started. Circuit works great. Now I may want to cascade flip-flops together. So I plugged in another JK flip-flop and this is what I came up with to cascade these two together. I put this little Q amplifier in the circuit. I've got a 10K ohm resistor going to Q of the first flip-flop and it does not load down that first flip-flop. That's what that little transistor amplifier is doing. And I've got a diode on E and it goes to a 1K ohm resistor to ground then the other part of it goes to the clock at pin 13. And before I forget to mention it, neither one of those diodes that is on the 555 timer or this little NPN transistor, they don't need to be there. I just put them in there so you could see the clocking. And here's a demo on this circuit. Okay, here's both flip-flops working. And what I want to point out is the flip-flop on the left. Notice that it is one half frequency of the flip-flop on the right, and it's exact. Now I'm going to lift off the 47, and everything's working fine. It's a little bit easier to see 
that the left is one half frequency of the flip flop on the right. Okay, all three capacitors in parallel. Okay, lifted off the 47. Now I'm going to lift off that 4.7. Now it looks like they're all on, but what's happening here is they are toggling so fast that it looks steady. I'm going to plug that back in. Plug the 47 microfarad back in so you can see the clocking much easier. Now I'm going to short out the diode on the little transistor circuit just to show you that you don't really need that. And notice all the other lights, nothing happens. It keeps right on working. Now I'm going to short out the diode on the 555 timer. The other lights did not change. Now you can see that the left flip-flop is one half the speed of the right flip-flop. Now I'm going to unshort the diodes. I've run this circuit for many hours and it's very stable and works quite well. I have a link to this drawing in the show more of this video. Thanks for watching.